So I thought about this one for a long time, and I just I have to go with clean air and aerodynamics to take this one on Sunday. I mean, <laughs> they they just had such good success at these mile and a half tracks this year. Nah, I'm just going with y'all. Hey everybody, welcome to the Stock Car Spectacle. I'm Ian Jordson. I'm Mike Gamble. And I'm Nick Kinzel. And we're going to be previewing the Texas race that we have this weekend. First off, we're going to be starting with the Xfinity Series. We have the O'Reilly Auto Parts 300. It's a 300-mile race. Stages 1 and 2 are 45 laps each. And the final stage is 110 for a total of 200 laps. Most wins by a team here is Joe Gibbs Racing with five wins. Austin Sendrick won last time that we were here when Kyle Busch failed post-race inspection. So, guys, who's your pick to win the Xfinity Series race? Nick, let's start off with you. All right, so I'm not going to go with a playoff contender to win this race in the Xfinity Series. I'm going to go with the guy who was eliminated after the first round. I'm going with the 20 car of Harrison Burton. So Harrison Burton in two races at Texas, he has finishes of seventh and fourth. He's shown a lot of speed here. Uh, and Harrison Burton's had a very solid first year in the Xfinity Series. Uh, I've talked bad about him uh, before the series, before the season started. I did not have high hopes for Burton in this 20 car, but he's proved me wrong. He's got two wins on the year, 13 top fives and uh, 19 top tens. That is a great, that's a great rookie year in the Xfinity Series, if you ask me. So I'm going with that 20 car to get it done. All right, Mike. All right, guys, I am going to go with the 22 of Austin Sindrick. I think he punches his ticket to the championship four here. Uh, Texas has been a pretty good track for him. You know, although he does have the win here due to the uh, the Kyle Busch DQ, um, he does have three top fives in five races here. So it's been a good track for him. So uh, I think, you know, if, if there's a racetrack where he can kind of come in, punch his ticket, move on to the next round, the championship round, I think it's a really good opportunity for him here at Texas. All right. Uh, I'm also joining Nick. I'm not picking a playoff driver. I'm not even picking a full-time driver. I'm going with the eight car of Jeb Burton uh, in five starts here. He's got three top tens with one top five. So pretty fast here whenever he comes to Texas. So I think we're finally going to see that eight car in victory lane. And I don't think Nick's going to be very happy about that. I hope that. not. I hope that doesn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and now we dig into the truck series. That will be uh, Sunday morning, actually. So we have the... All right, I get to watch it. Let's go. All right. If I'm alive. <laughs> uh, we got the speedycash.com 400. It's a 250-mile race. Stages one and two are 40 laps each, and the final stage is 87 for a total of 167 laps. Most wins by a manufacturer here is Toyota with 10 wins. So, guys, who's your pick to win here on Sunday morning? Nick, let's start off with you. So, I'm going to go with a guy who's in some trouble right now in the Truck Series playoffs. He had a bad race at Kansas uh, there at the end. I'm going to go with a 26 truck of Tyler Rankrum. Tyler Rankrum's got a win on a mile and a half track. He did it last year at Kentucky. That, granted, that might have been a fuel mileage race that he won it off of, but this is actually a pretty good track here when we look at Texas Motor Speedway for uh, Tyler Rankroom. He's got finishes of 6th, 3rd, and 6th. So I think he's going to be kind of go up there and like kind of play underdog role because he needs it at this point if he has any chances of punching his ticket to Phoenix. So it's been an okay year for Ankrum, and he could really use this win right now. So I'm going to go with Tyler Rankroom to get it done. Okay. Solid. Mike? All right. I'm going to pick that mustache man with the smirk to go back to back. Brett Moffitt parks it in victory lane at Texas Sunday morning. Um, he's done decent here. He's got, you know, five starts, two top five, two top tens. Hasn't been to victory lane here yet, but I have a feeling now that he's opened up the floodgates in the 2020 season, finally, that's about to change. So I pick Brett Moffitt, victory lane. All right. Good pick there. Uh, so for my pick for the truck race, I got to go with Grant Enfinger. Uh, the frog. <laughs> <laughs> He's got six top tens with four top fives and seven starts here uh, with an average finishing position of sixth place. So he's really, really fast here when we come to Texas. So uh, definitely going to see him go in victory lane and uh, punch his ticket to the final four at Phoenix. 
Hope that 45 truck goes up and plays spoiler this weekend. <laughs> be real cool if he did. Be really cool if he did. Be a lot cooler if he did. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now we go to the big show, the Cup Series, Sunday afternoon. Uh, this one's a mouthful. It's the Auto Trader Echo Park Automotive 500. Uh, it's a 501 mile race. Stages one and two are 85 laps each. And the final stage is 164 for a total of 334 laps. Kevin Harvick has won here in the past three years in the fall Texas race. Can he get four in a row? Guys, who's your pick to win on Sunday? Mike, let's start off with you. You know what? We talked a little bit on uh, the Kinzo's classroom as to how this guy might be in a little bit of trouble. And uh, we played hot and cold. We picked him as a cold driver. Um I'm going to go with the 11 of Denny Hamlin. I think he overcomes the adversity he had this past weekend at Kansas. And I think it just goes to solidify why he is a championship favorite, him and Kevin Harvick. Um, I think, you know, he's had the propensity in the past for, you know, when the wheels start to fall off, they fall all the way off, especially when it comes to championship time. I think he's, we see that narrative get changed around a little bit this year. I think, you know, he had, a, he had some issues this past weekend. I think he writes the ship this week gets the victory, officially punches his ticket to, to Phoenix for the championship. So it'll be Denny Hamlin and victory lane on Sunday. All righty. All right, all right. Nick? You know, I thought about this one for a long time, and I just I have to go with clean air and aerodynamics to take this one on Sunday. <laughs> I mean, they, they just had such good success at these mile-and-a-half tracks this year. Nah, I'm just going with y'all. I'm going to go with uh, – <laughs> This is going to really piss Dalton off. I'm going to go with this guy. I'm going to go with Kyle Busch. Uh, it just seems like in the group chat, whenever Connor Bunn uh, likes to tell Dalton that Kyle Busch is going to win today, Dalton loses his damn mind for whatever reason. I don't know. He's, he's pissed off a lot. So <laughs> That <laughs> no, boy ain't right. That boy, <laughs> I'm going to go with the 18 car. Kyle Busch, last time we were at Texas, he had a fourth place running. He looked pretty strong. And in 29 starts, he's got – Three wins, 13 top fives, and 16 top tens. Brett Moffitt just got his first win in 2020 uh, last week. So I think uh, it's time for Kyle Busch to get his first win of 2020 and kind of make it a little bit less sh- than it's already been. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, for my pick to win the Cup Series race of Texas, I'm just going to say right now, 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020 Kevin Harvick's going for four wins in a row at Texas Motor Speedway. Just been the dominant car there in the fall. Don't know why it's the fall, not the spring, but he just gets it done. Kevin Harvick going for four in a row, going to punch his ticket to the final four at Phoenix. I'm telling you, clean air and aerodynamics are going to be really tough to beat in this one. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, I mean, with this aero package and the style of track that we're going, and with the finish that we saw with Austin Dillon last, uh, you know, earlier in the summer here, I, it's going to be uh, it's going to be another show. That's for sure. You know, clean air and aerodynamics, they run really slow lap times and they like to do a lot of blocking and dirty driving. So we'll just really have to see you with this one. Yep. All right, guys, you got anything else to add before we head to Texas this weekend? I hope my nope. pick isn't right for the cup race. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of like having Kyle Busch go winless. Not going to lie. I've, I've enjoyed it a lot. It's been nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody. Thanks for tuning in to the Stock Car Spectacle. Make sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can find us on all podcast platforms. Me, Nick, and Mike, we're on Twitter and Instagram, so make sure to give us a follow along with the Stock Car Spectacle accounts. Make sure to check out Kodo's Mojo. Me and Patrick discussed uh, this past weekend's NFL uh, schedule, and we're discussing the World Series, so make sure to tune into that. So thanks for tuning in, everybody. I'm Ian Jortson. I'm Mike Gamble. And I'm Nick Kinzel. Enjoy Texas this weekend, everybody.